Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. If you're new here, welcome. And if you like what you see, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Good morning. So this video is the vlog vlog and not just me chatting your ears off, okay? So here I'm getting breakfast ready. Um, well, my breakfast anyways. Here I'm making some chia seed pudding. So I added chia seeds, of course, some peach, grapes, and almond milk. And for flavoring, I added one stick of cinnamon. If you have vanilla, you can also add vanilla as well and then sweeten with some maple syrup. I'm just gonna put that in the fridge let it chill for a bit and thicken while my pudding is chilling i'm just going to take my daily vitamins here i have some flaxseed oil msm uh, multivitamins and pb8 and spirulina so if you have trouble going on a regular like me flaxseed oil is a really good source of omega-3 fatty acids which helps with that and we all need to be taking a multivitamin every day as well then we have msm which is basically sulfur your body needs this to create to naturally create collagen and this is especially good like if you have joint pains after a workout and stuff like that and pb8 is a probiotic which helps support digestive health and bloating up next we have spirulina and if you don't know about spirulina you need to do your research okay so these are the vitamins i take on a daily but do your own research, guys, and also check with your physician, especially if you're on any kind of medication before you start taking any form of supplements. After having my supplements, I usually have a cup of tea. Right here, I'm having meringue or meringa mint. Uh, this is a herbal tea with lots of beneficial properties. And again, please do your research. Now it's time to pack, so come pack with me. I really don't need a lot of stuff, we're just staying overnight, so yeah, let's go. Why don't you get it by now? Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you want it. Did you forget that good? Why is I love it one sided? It should really be give and take. Fill you up and leave me empty Baby, was that my mistake? Covering these feelings Going through changes I'm just so mad right now I can't even think straight So I'ma just Tweet it and delete it Knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just tweet it and delete it 
cross the line And we reach a point we can't reach Oh, 
turn on my the lights. Space, space, nice, nice. Hi. I actually like my hair today. Nice. And the shower. Call it, babe. This place is like a motel, motel, or inn. Okay, so it's a nice little inn. Ooh, there's a restaurant bar here too. A nice little spot for. Yeah, that's my progress going on so far, guys. I kind of like where I'm at right now. Just a little bit more, and then we're good. What? Later that day, we went to check out the town of Bayfield. Oh my gosh, this town is so beautiful. If you have never been here before, I highly encourage you to go and visit at least once in your life. I'm gonna tell you guys, like this felt like I was almost on a movie set. <laughs> That's how it felt to me. The town just felt oh, unreal. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Nice. 
Yeah, baby. I'm over there, so let me see. And I'm also quite one of them places there, like out of Stanford. Big <laughs> Stanford. This is it. No, yep, I'm gonna take you to the beach and go for a little bit of a walk. <laughs> oh, what does this say? Uh, didn't you say you were going to bring the drone? It is here, in the back of the hotel. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to be droning anytime soon. <laughs> I thought we might go for a walk down to the beach. Tonight, or whatever. Yes, we can I figured we'd be kind of walking tomorrow. around and eating, and I didn't think I'd want to be lugging around the drone. The beach is not there. Well. You'll notice the beach here is a lot different than the beach in Grand Bend. How much so? Uh, well, let's just say the sand hasn't quite fully developed on this beach. What? It's still in its proto-sand stage. So it's stone? You are smart. I like that. <laughs> Easy. So pretty, nice. This beach used to be a lot, deep, a lot bigger. It was really nice just hanging out on the boardwalk for a little bit, chilling, and it wasn't really hot that day, so it was good. So cool. There's places like this in Canada. It almost looks like you're in Florida. It's hot enough too. Yeah. After chilling on the boardwalk, we felt a bit hungry so we headed into Grand Bend for dinner. The idea was to have dinner and then go watch the fireworks. But it was so busy we could not find any parking. So back to Bayfield we went and let me tell you, it was the best decision ever. Did you decide on what you wanted to drink? Yes ma'am. And I have a spice burger. Thank you. We had dinner at the Black Dog Village and Pub Bistro. Honestly, this restaurant felt very high end and the prices were really affordable. For starters, we had escargot aka snails and duck. And this was actually my first time trying escargot and it actually tasted really good. For drinks, I had a spicy margarita and my partner had an iced tea. Long Island iced tea, okay? A Long Island iced tea. <laughs> Ah. Uh. 
after dinner we went for a walk out on the pier and this is where we really spent the rest of the night watching fireworks and just chilling before we headed back to the hotel of course so nice Supposed here. to get down here. Over here. You got it. You got it. Nice. Can you put them all in white? Huh? <laughs> Making fun of my legs again? So you can't see. I need you more sun, man. What? I don't care. I don't care. We need more sun. Let's try. I have to have different color than you. I see your body. Need to wear more shorts. Hello. Your legs get I worse. work like almost 50 hour a week, man. <laughs> My weekends I spend what? Doing what? <laughs> Chilling with you? Oh my gosh. You know? So it's like I don't got a lot of options here. Yes, I would like to wear more shorts. That's why I was actually going to buy some more shorts today because all the other ones I bought are for fucking. The people who we are going to never quit. <laughs> Well, you can bleep me in. <laughs> oh, wait. I can't know I'm to cut myself. Like, why walk in your flip flops when you just bare feet are so much better? Oh, this one actually feels nice, you know? Yeah. It's kind of a little coarser than whatever, but... But it feels better than the one that up ups here. On the other beach. Yeah? You like it better? Yeah, this feels more like the one in Jamaica. Oh, nice. There you go. Apparently, northern Ontario is somewhere to Jamaica. It's close as we're going to get in there. You want to sit down here, so? Uh, no, these don't belong there. Whose chair is them? Probably somebody that brought them here. Maybe they're out in the water. Oh. I wouldn't want to Ow! Something. something stick me. Alright. You okay? I don't know. Something running up in my foot.
So this is pretty much what happens every holiday in Canada guys, not just for Christmas and New Year's, every holiday. And basically anyone, as long as they're over the age of 18, can purchase their own fireworks. Well, don't quote me on that because I'm not really sure. I've never really bought my own fireworks. But yeah, this is what we did for the rest of the night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, bye.